Good morning, dear students of second secondary French school. How are you? Please get your aim high book because we are going to begin unit six in your books. Open your books, page 48, page 48. What is the type of, of the unit? What type are you? What type are you? He's going to talk to you about what type are you, about your character, and some experts think that your order in your family affects your personality and career. We are going to have an idea about the text. Background notes about the text. The text is about the idea that a child position in the birth order can impact, affect on, had, can impact on his or her personality, education, and career path. The article claims that the firstborn child, because of the attention they receive from parents, are better able to be responsible and confident. We know that the first child is taking all the attention of the members of the family. Second born child are more creative, quieter, and gravitate more towards artistic careers. Some experts' opinions are mentioned in the text. They mention for you their opinion about the order and how every child, according to his order, is different. Okay? Look at your books, birth order and success. You have the text in your books, and as usual, you have some highlighted words. We are going, you are going to learn those words by heart. We are going to explain them with each other. The first highlighted word, conventional wisdom say that there are natural differences in the way that birth order affects people. Conventional wisdom. What do you mean by this word? Conventional wisdom is a compound noun, consists of two words. The word conventional means something familiar. Wisdom, a person who had good mind and good opinion, which it's a, a conventional wisdom is a compound word. It consists of two words. Noun, which means information or beliefs generally accepted as true by society or group of people. When you consider something, we get used that this thing is true among all ages. According to the con conventional wisdom, the first child takes all the attention of the parents. We get used to say this and consider it something true, that it happens all the time. The second word we have, the second word we have, for example, parents often keep tabs on firstborn child. Parents key often keep tabs on firstborn child. What do you mean by this word? Is a phrasal verb. Keep tabs on is a phrasal verb. You have to find it or write it as it is. A phrasal verb means it's a verb consists of a preposition. A verb with a preposition, they had a different meaning than the verb alone. Is a phrasal verb which means to take care of something closely, to take care of something closely. I need to keep tabs on my money. I spend a lot in useless things. So, third word. The youngest, the youngest child seems to get away with murder because, because parents have experienced everything before. Get away with murder. It's an idiom. We have known the word idiom. We have all known the word idiom. What do you mean by the word idiom? It's an expression or a phrase you can use to give another meaning. This, we have this idiom, which means to do something bad without any punishment. To do something bad or mistake, but you will not get a punishment on your mistake. My younger brother got away with murder after he had broken the vase because he is the favorite child. He did something wrong, but he didn't get any punishment. Next word, over younger siblings 
who may even look up to them as substitute parents. The word siblings means brother, sibling, brother or sister. I have two siblings. I gave them all my attention. Look up to, look up to them as substitute parents. Look up to is a phrasal verb. Also, we have two prepositions with this verb here. Look up to, look up to, because the word look up without the, uh, the preposition to have another meaning. They have to find something, look up to find something. Look up to has a different meaning, is a phrasal verb which means to respect or admire someone, to respect or admire someone. Boys look up to football players and want to be like them. They love them and want to be like them. Next, often feel overlooked by their parents. Second born and middle children, second born and middle children often feel overlooked by their parents. What do you mean by the word overlooked? Forgotten, okay? No parent forget his child but the second because the attention is a little bit less so the second child feel that they overlooked by their parents don't overlook to revise as you will have an exam tomorrow don't forget to revise you will have an exam tomorrow next they are more accommodating and they are also receptive they are more Accommodating, what do you mean by the word accommodating? Willingly to help or cooperate. You are ready to help anyone and cooperate with him. The teachers in the school were accommodating. They helped me so much when I was absent. Okay. They are also receptive to new experiences. Receptive means open-minded. You can accept new ideas, can accept new ideas. Next word, can call them to be manipulative to get what they want. Can call them, this can cause them to be manipulative to get what they want. Manipulative, controlling others to get what one wants, to have control over others. Even as a child, she was manipulative and knew how to get her own way. She was a child, but she is able to controlling herself and know what to do. Next, cites several studies which have shown that firstborns and old, only children usually reach higher education goals. Cite is a verb, means to mention something as a reason, to mention something as a reason. The scientist cites three examples to explain his theory. He mentioned four as three examples to explain his theory. Next page, turn the page. The word, youngest children love the limelight and are used to being in it. The word limelight, to be in the center of public attention, to be in the center of public attention. I was the main character in the play, so I was the limelight in the party. I was the center of the attention of the people. Next word, they often gravitate toward artistic careers. Gravitate, to be attracted to something, to be attracted to something. People in my family gravitate to the scientific field. They like the scientific field very much. Are strong advocates of birth order differences. Advocate a person who supports or speaks in favor of, of, of somebody or of action. When you are a supporter to a person or an idea or an action, you are a supporter to a person or an idea or an action. My teacher is a strong, is a strong advocate of traditional grammar lessons is a strong advocate of traditional grammar lessons. Next, is not the sole determiner of an individual's career. Soul only, soul only. The sole reason to attend the party was to support my sister. The only reason I attend the party because of it is to support my sister. 
The last word we have, other factors can override birth order. Other factors can override birth order, override to overrule. Don't let anger override common sense. Don't let anger rule your common sense. By this, we have finished the text. You have an idea about it and you have, uh, we have explained the 15 words. You should study them. Please try to put every word in a sentence to test your understanding. To test your understanding. Put them, try to put them in a sentence by your own. Thank you. See you later.